What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. We're going to be checking out the top 5 best gaming phones to be using in 2019. Alright, so as everybody knows, I'm a huge phone gamer, so I'm really just going to give it to you straight here. Now, I'm going to be going from best to worst. I'll throw links down there if you want to check out any of these phones. And I'm going to do some gameplay on our top two choices in this video. Now, my favorite gaming phone right now in 2019 is the iPhone 10s Max. Um, I simply love this phone. You know, it's got a really nice 6.5-inch OLED display. Uh, you know, I love iOS for gaming. Don't get me wrong, I love Android, but, you know, this is my top choice. Now, it was pretty close between the iPhone XS Max and the Galaxy S10. You know, ever since the S10s come out, you know, I've been doing tons of gaming on there, you know, uh, shooting games, fighting games, watching tons of videos and everything like that. And I'd probably say the display does actually look better than the iPhone XS Max's, but when, for whatever reason, when it comes to gaming, I just love the iPhone XS Max. So you've got a 6.5 inch OLED display here, a 6.1 inch OLED display on the Galaxy S10, and a really solid third choice. Uh, if you wanna save a little bit of money and you're looking for like a, a high-end gaming phone, the LG G8 ThinQ is a really good phone. Now this phone came out of nowhere, uh, you know, I haven't really followed LG the last couple of years, but this one, it's a solid choice. Now it sells for around 800, the S10 sells for around 900, then of course the iPhone XS Max, you're looking at uh, spending a G basically. All right, so my fourth pick is the Sony Xperia 10 Plus. This is a really nice budget phone right here. You can get it for right around $400. It's got a nice 6.5 inch LCD display. And um, you know, Sony, these phones can be hit or miss, but I think this one is a really good one. And then, of course, my fifth choice would be the Moto G7, which is a really solid phone. It sells for $300. Now, I have been following the Moto G series over the last couple of years, and these phones continue to get better and better. So it would be a very solid pick for any phone gamer out there who's only got about $300 to spend. All right, so I'm going to start things off here with some gameplay on the iPhone XS Max. We're going to do some on the S10 after that. And, uh, you know, let's get into it here. So I just wanted to get my top two picks rolling here now i've got a good game we're going to check out on uh here for everybody it's called black paradox um i'm going to take it to the home screen on here now i've got this phone blasted right now so this phone is going to be on the uh basically the loudest volume setting and this is a really cool arcade style shooting game that i wanted to do some gameplay with so let's uh let's get into it here Alright, so we're going to throw this one to the side now so we can get some of that Galaxy S10 rolling. So, uh, Galaxy S10 is going to be my second choice, like I said, you guys, and I'm just going to put both phones up against each other. So, I mean, uh, display-wise, you are looking at um, OLED displays on both phones, uh, but like I said, you probably are going to be looking at a better display on the S10, but I still just prefer um, the iPhone XS Max. I just think it's an awesome phone, and... Uh, I've just been loving it. So uh, for the Galaxy S10 here, we are going to be doing some gameplay on Mortal Kombat. Uh, you know, I've been um, playing this a little bit more lately, and I know we have the new Mortal Kombat that just came out on consoles. Uh, I'm going to get the volume turned up as much as possible here, and uh, let's do this.
right, cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed a little bit there on the uh, Galaxy S10. So I'm just going to kind of go through these one more time here. So we've got the iPhone XS Max is going to be my top choice. Galaxy S10 is going to be a really good second option for everybody. Then, of course, I've got the LG G8 ThinQ over here. This phone is awesome. A uh, little bit less money than the S10. Then, of course, we've got the Sony right here, which I absolutely love. And then, of course, the Moto G7. So if you guys are looking for the best gaming phones right now in 2019, um, I'm really just going from best to worst over here. But, you know, they're all still really solid phones. And depending on how much money you have, you know, you've got $1,000 down to $300. So I'll throw a link. Links on there if you want to check any of these out. Please hit the like and share. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you all later.